Good morning everyone, this is another session on Vedic Astrology and we will be doing the placements of Rahu in the 7th house and Ketu in the 1st house and we'll try to learn about what this placement could mean. Now Rahu in the 7th house and Ketu in the 1st house. Now basically Ketu in the 1st house or in the natural sign of Aries can mean that the person has a tendency to work alone, the person has a tendency to be uh, something like Aries but Ketu is not really in very friendly terms with that kind of thing so they, it can mean that you might isolate yourself, you might not like to work with others, you might not be very diplomatic as well and you need to learn all that because you are supposed to learn the aspects of the 7th house. The 7th house is all about diplomacy. Seventh house is about you know working with different people, mingling with other people, making strong relationships. Okay it also means that uh, uh, being more and more uh, 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 partnership oriented kind of thing. Uh, Ketu in the first house can make you a bit lonely, can make you work uh, like an individualistic person. It can make you that you don't you know trust others you don't trust your partner the whereas the seventh house is the house of spouse and partners and it also means towards foreign countries and foreigners so this means what that you know from a feeling of being isolated or working totally on your own uh, you have to go more into a, a person or become a person who can work well with others, who can work well in relationships. It is important for these people to engage uh, with others, converse with others rather than isolating them, themselves. They can do this by finding activities in which they, they you know, deal with others and that is how they will finally evolve and that is their main goal so you see that is how Ketu in the first and the Rahu in the seventh house would you know uh, or it means you know the combination means so Ketu in the first and Rahu in the seventh essentially means that you already have the characteristics of the first house but you also have a tendency to isolate and to get away from others and do things your way and be very headstrong about them but now in this lifetime you need to modify that and become more of a person who deals with others works with others uh, trusts your partner work with your partner have good relationship with your partner and uh, also be interested in business working with foreigners and all these kind of things so that is what you have to learn you have to gradually come out of that uh, isolated state and start uh, having a uh, working in groups and partnerships so and also have a more uh, uh, you know you, you need to trust your partner also your marriage partner because seventh house also indicates that so you need to do that as well you have to be more and more cooperative and start you know to work with others in a more efficient way rather than secluding and isolating yourself so that is what Ketu in first and Rahu in the seventh house means so we have done till the seven combinations and then we'll continue tomorrow with the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th placements and uh, hopefully you got the basics we'll also try to go even in more detailing of such placements because uh, such placements itself can reveal about you know 60 to 70 percent of your life itself because Rahu and Ketu play a significant role in shaping your destiny and also realize that these uh, these uh, readings would modify with conjunctions that is if Ketu and Rahu are present with some other planet or uh, you know if there are some other negative planets or some other positive planets then these uh, readings would slightly modify but generally this part of the reading will also be true and the minor rectifications would only be with the placements of different planets and also with the placements of conjunctions or having conjunctions hopefully you got few more points in this video i'm sure thank you to astrology do check my channel for more thank you take care have a great day bye bye